Ghana Talks Radio. Ghana Talks Radio. This is big. Yes. More. 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 Ghana Talks Radio. Ghana Talks Radio. This is big. This is big. This is Ghana Talks Radio. The best station rocking the nation. Entertainment already on Ghana Talks Radio. I go by the name Regina Black. So without wasting much time, I'm jump into our story. So Prince William, Kate's controversial Caribbean tour cost taxpayers this hefty amount. Prince William and Kate Middleton's Caribbean tour, which sparked massive backlash for displaying heavy colonial undertones, was revealed to have cost the taxpayer a hefty amount of two thousand two hundred and six. The Duke and Duchess received heavy and criticism of their eight day visit to Belize, Jamaica, and the Bahamas in March. The couple was also pictured traveling in an this open top land rover, which was driven by Jamaican nation. soldiers. However, royal fans suggested that it looked like a scene from the crown. Meanwhile, it was recently reported that the royal family sent a total of 102.4 million euros across the last financial year, which marks a rise of 17% from the previous year. Most of the expenditure amount was spent on the major 10-year program of the ongoing renovation at Buckingham Palace. It was reported that around 54.6 million euros, a 41% increase in spending, was siphoned off by the renovations alone. Moving to our next story, Prince Harry and Meghan finally achieved their goal to become financially independent. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have fin- finally achieved their goal to become financially independent two years after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex pledged to work to support themselves. According to the Sovereign Grants report, the Sussex are no longer receiving funds from the Prince of Wales while the rest of the royal family continue to incur massive expenses. A source close to Prince Charles placed the beans through the mirror. The Duke and Duchess should be congratulated on achieving their goal in working in millions from the private sector. Moving to our next story, Chris Bright reveals what everyone calls him. Chris Bright is not called by the name Chris at all. On Sirius Zim's pop culture spotlight with Jessica Shaw earlier this week, the 42-year-old actor claimed that his closest friends and family referred to him as CP or just Bright. According to a report by Entertainment Weekly, the Jurassic Park Dominion actor told the outlet, Yep, Brad, CP, you know CP, hey CP, but no one calls me Chris. He further added that I went golfing with my friend Chad, my pastor, the other day, and he was like, No one calls you Chris. I'm gonna call you Chris, alright? Chris, you are up. And I was like, No, it feels weird. That's not my name. Don't call me Chris. 
Talking about names, Prince have her history with them. When asked if he had trouble pronouncing his wife, Catherine Schwarzenegger's family name, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Galaxy actor replied, On Jimmy Kimmel Life. I have learned now. Yeah, I have learned now. So that was what he said. So moving to some local entertainment stories. It's a boy. My namesake, Regina Daniels, gives birth to a second baby. So Nollywood actress Regina Daniels and her lovely husband, Mr. Ned Unwok, who have welcomed their second baby. Regina has given birth to another baby boy. Apparently, Regina Daniels delivered yesterday, which was June 29th. And on this very day, her first son, Ned, Ned Unwok, who also turns two. So take it to social media, Regina Daniels wrote, June 29th is indeed a blessed date for me and my family. With so much joy in my heart, I announce the birth of my second son. Ma Moon and his younger brother are definitely gonna be each other's lifetime companion, partner in crime, with an unbreakable bond in Jesus' name, coupled with the fact that they share the same birthday. I am so blessed. At Prince, you got your best gifts, and I'm so happy you get very excited when you see babies. Oh, this is so, 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 so nice. So, when will I also give birth? You know, new version, I also give birth. Mm-hmm. So, our next story Shatawale, dance talk, and uh, dance talking, yes, a uh, bandana. Pam, 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 pam. He has been convicted for faking his death. And faces three months in prison. So Shatawale has been convicted by an Accra Circuit Court over faking his death, fined, and in default faces a three months jail term. The self acclaimed dance hall king, born Charles Niyama Mensa, pleaded guilty to publication of false news in court, in court yesterday, June 29th. He rescinded his earlier plea of non guilty to guilty and was convicted on his own plea. While he was fined 2000 and in default, he would spend three months behind bars. People were like, yesterday when the news came out, people were like, why should a celebrity be fined 2000 Ghana cities? And I don't know, I threw that question to you, why should a celebrity be fined 2000 Ghana cities? And people were like, if it was to be a normal person, just a normal floor member, that person would, be, would have been fined like uh, 200,000. 100,000 and so on, those huge, 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 huge amounts. So, people are still doubting, people are still confused why a celebrity like Shatawale will be fine. Just come on, 2,000 Ghana cities, just 2,000. It's a peanut for him, so that one day he can pay. So, Shatawale caused the massive social media stay in October last year after faking an attack on him. Wale had associates, but out fake news that he had been shot by a gunman and was in the hospital receiving treatment. His personal assistant, Nana Dope, blasted the information over social media and caused a massive stare. So the musician then came out to reveal that it was all prank to raise awareness because a doom prophet had prophesied he would be shot on that day. While he was charged with the publication of false news and causing fear and panic, he initially pleaded not guilty but changed his plea at today's court which was yesterday leading to the final ruling yes so shatawale has been convicted he has been fined 2000 ghana city still me myself i find it amusing i find it confusing why a celebrity like him should be fined 2000 ghana cities the way dj chum is looking at me dj chum i'm saying the truth because 2000 is a peanut for him anyway we are not the court he's not the court i don't know so this is how we end entertainment about on Ghana Talk Show. And don't forget today is Thursday. And always when it gets to Thursday, you know it's a relationship talk. So don't move sem. And you're the don't move sem ever bro. Life and color. That was Ghana Talk Show radio page. And so and a Facebook and so. And the amount we if you saw better download the Ghana Talk Show the app no Google Play Store and an Apple App Store. So once I make a chain, me put this on our my fans. Me kitchen, to me kitchen, to all my fans. And tomorrow, if you stop download the app, now I say, over call your website www.ganatalksradio.com for more in cheche mu. And how many more will be see? That's the next message. Bye bye. This is Ghana.
Ghana Talks Radio, the best station rocking the nation.